Well, hi there. I've come to Zim Cafe. Uh, this is uh, XYM Cafe, uh, Zim. Uh, very nice looking from the outside, uh, covered in ferns. It's lovely when you come in here from the bright sunshine outside into the coolness of the air-conditioned area inside. You can sit out the back and have a smoke as well if you like, and there's a nice uh, sort of like uh, cosy places around the outside as well. Um, I've come with two cups of coffee to, to taste here today. Um, I'm going to have a taste of this one, which is the, this is a medium. Mm. Got a nice cream head on the top. Mm, that's smooth. Mm. Let me try the, the dark. This is nice and smooth on the tongue. Gorgeous, actually. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like a it's like a licorice fruit. It's yeah, it doesn't smell burn. You don't get a burny smell from this, uh, like you dump, do in some coffees. This is not a burn smell. This, you know, it's not smoky. That's really nice. So that's the dark. That's gorgeous, actually. Both the medium and the dark are fabulous. Very, very nice. Now, this last few days, I've been going through the internet, YouTube, and following a guy, I'll put a link in the description below, uh, in his uh, explanation of how to make a good espresso. I have watched his videos over and over and over again. I am fascinated. There is so much going on behind the counter. It's not just about the bean, it's not just about the machine, it's not just about the water. It's about the time, it's about the pressure, it's about the pressure of the uh, barista putting it into the basket. The basket that the coffee goes into before it is introduced to the water, that pressure that the barista puts onto that grind. There's so much going on in the mixing of a uh, making uh, of a, I think the term is pulling, when you pull an espresso. Absolutely wonderful to know that there is more to this than just adding water to coffee. It makes you appreciate these tastes even more. Gee, I'm really happy here. Zim Zim Coffee, Zim Cafe here. What, what is it now? Yeah, it's Zim Cafe, uh, the Zim Cafe here on. Uh, this is actually Tipnet Road before it gets into Ayat. Uh, Airport Plaza is just over there, and this place I can really recommend. I've been here a couple of times, but I've never really thought about how good the coffee was until now. Uh, I can really. I, I can't speak highly enough about it. Really very, very nice. The ambience as you look at it, nice. The ambience as you come in, fantastic. Couple of fives. The staff, there's three staff, giggly staff behind the counter and they, um, you know, one's kicking the other about, what do they say, what do they say, what do they say? But, um, yeah, it's, it's a friendly atmosphere and the barista's done a good job here. Coffee, as I say, is brilliant. The selfie opportunity here is, it's good. It's nalak. Uh, I know quite a few people that come in here and they enjoy being here because it looks good on them. Uh, they look good on this and I think the NALAC factor is high as well. So this place is all the fives. I, can't, I, I cannot fault it. It's very, very nice. So um, the Zim. Mm. I'm going to get back to these two coffees. I really feel happy now. Cheers. See you in the next video.
Bye-bye.